Hey friends, it's Awkwardly Random with Cynthia and Michelle, where we talk about random topics. Anything and everything awkward is on the table, so let's dive right in. Hey y'all. Welcome back. That reminded me of another hey episode. Now. You're an all-star. Hey now. <laughs> oh, I was thinking of the <laughs> Lizzie McGuire movie. Hey now. Hey now. Hey, hey now. now. This is what yep. dreams are made of. I have a pretty yeah. soothing voice, I think. <laughs> yep. Let me know what y'all think. Let's, yeah, let's just go with that. Yeah. Oh, sh- okay, sure, I'm sure, just sure. Kidding. No, no, no. Yeah, it's amazing. I'm just playing. I'm j- oh, it's amazing. Wow. <laughs> way to hype me up. Do not <laughs> hype me up like that because then I'll for real start singing. Okay. <sighs> hey, okay, everybody. Okay, okay. Hi. Welcome back. Welcome back. We're back to, to another episode of Awkwardly Random really with Random. Cynthia and Michelle. Yes. Y'all should already know the title of this <laughs> podcast. Yeah, <laughs> and we Mia's have a special the- guest in the background, <laughs> Mia. Oh, Mia. oh <laughs> she's looking. Oh. Mia, what are you doing? She's pretty good at responding to her name. Yeah, she's really good at it. Oh, yeah. As soon as she heard her name, she like looked like who's t- who's calling me. Yeah. All right, come through, Mia. Come be our special guest today. Yep. Because we're our gonna be talking guest. about something deep. Give us some of your insight. Okay. Hey. So today, y'all, is uh, another episode that where we, I guess we just tend to like to go deep. I guess we I do. I don't know why. Like, I, guess, I think that's just what we gravitate towards. Yep. Yep. And we talked about this topic before in, uh, in this, to a certain extent. So yeah, we're going to dive in a little bit more yes. on this episode. Yes. Yep. And we're going to talk about purpose do you have you found your purpose what is your purpose what does it mean what does that even mean right like I feel like it's such an abstract yeah Yeah. exactly exactly so uh but you know we got to get to our awkwardly random question first Mm -hmm. so Mish I wanted to ask you this I actually I rent I checked out this book from the library called frequently asked questions about the universe I just was randomly like like uh browsing through the shelves and stuff. And I found it and I'm mm-hmm. like, this is interesting. And they talked about this. There's a chapter mm-hmm. called another you or something like that. Wow. So I wanted to ask you if there was someone out there in the world who was just like you. And what I mean by just like you is like, just like you, same interests, same dislikes, same personality, uh, same, same jobs. Sense- yeah. Like- same memories, same experiences same sense of humor all that kind of stuff so it would be kind of like parallel universe type of shit but in but in one universe okay and they would look like me yeah like exactly like me yes but they're not you which is good which is what we can get into but yeah they're just like you but they're not you okay would you like to meet them I would like to meet them I don't know if I would be friends with them but for sure I would like to meet someone who is just like me I think it would be hilarious. I think it would be fun. I think, I don't know, if they're just like me, they would want to know the other person like me too because I'm such a curious person. Yes. So I don't know. I'd just be interested to hear their experience, like how similar it is to mine. Like if they have any advice, I'm sure they've gone through some things that are similar, different than me. So I think it'd be cool. Would yeah, it no. would it trip you out at all? I feel like that that would be a little trippy for me to see someone it, who looks just like me and has all these same experiences and interests as me. It would definitely be trippy, um, and I don't know if I could get used to it. But I, th- I still think because it is so trippy and because it is so mm-hmm. like what the hell type of thing, I think that's what makes yeah. it so fun about it. What yeah. about you? Yeah, I mean, I would want to. I'd be interested in meeting this person. I just mm-hmm. would. I'm meet... like, let's see if you're just like me. I know, right? Yeah. What do you like to do? Do you like yeah. music? What kind of music? <laughs> if you like, yeah. if you're really into bluegrass country, I'm not sure that we're totally alike. Yeah. So anyway, but that's beside the point. I feel like it would be trippy, but I would be like you. I'm curious about it, Mm -hmm. Um, but I would need something. I would need a little bit of time to mentally prepare for that Mm. because that is just so 
I don't know. Like, you know how people talk about like your doppelganger? Yeah. But that's different, right? Your doppelganger is just someone who looks is, like who you. looks like you, but is like completely different lives, different yeah. person. Just looks like yeah. you. But yeah. This person looks like you and is like you. Yeah. But I feel like they I don't know. That's the thing. I would want to know about their upbringing because yeah. I feel like my upbringing it's kind of specific so it would just be interesting to see right their upbringing versus like their what they've had to go to yeah because it's like weird to find like are they actually gonna have like their uh, the same experiences as I did you know what I mean because it sounds like they would if they're just like me right right you know and I feel like my personality and my dislikes and likes have been because of my upbringing Mm -hmm. and my experiences. Yeah. And that's why it's so trippy to me because think about all the things that had to happen in a Mm -hmm. certain way. And at a certain time for you to be where you are right now and for you to be who you are right now, all these things happened maybe for, or, 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 you know, your upbringing, like you said, uh, your parents meeting one another at one point and, whatever right and then you being born in california i would have been like who are your parents yeah i would have been like who are your parents what what do they look like right and then you have sisters or like you know what i mean all of that stuff yes yeah Mm -hmm. so that's why i feel like it'd be so trippy because it's so specific it's very Mm -hmm. unique to you like i I know people that have maybe similar upbringings to me but not the exact same like there's just no way so that's why to me it's like oh my god it's really hard to process that but at the same yeah. time, I think because of that, I'd be even more interested to meet this person. Exactly. Same. But still a little tripped out. Yeah. <laughs> I would want to meet them. Let's talk about it. Let's let's talk. And let's ask them, what's your purpose in life? Have you figured yeah, it out? Ex- exactly. Exactly. Because I have it. <laughs> <laughs> Show me your tricks. Show I think that's secrets. a good... That's a good segue into yes. our main topic of what is your purpose? What is our yeah. purpose? Yeah. Um, so Cynthia, <laughs> did you find your purpose in life? <laughs> well, or, yeah, in life, I guess. Did you find your purpose? Oh, well, let's backtrack. What is purpose? Okay. Okay. Purpose? So, okay. I had to really like think about this and I've been kind of reading up on it a little bit and listening to podcasts and all this kind of stuff really done your research and I think not to the extent that I want but um I think you and I when we planned this episode Michelle we had a hard Mm -hmm. time even answering this question I know and I and I'm wondering like why why is it so hard to answer this question why are we so tripped up about this like we can't put into words what it is yeah. And, and I think it, that's the huge, like, that's the question that right. like all like humanity in right. general, not just like us, but like yeah. the sciences are like, what is our purpose? Why are we here as humans? Yeah. Like who create, like, I think that's just a fundamental yeah. theoretical question, question that, mm-hmm. you know, we all have and right. eventually should have at some point, you know? Yeah. I think we and, all go through that. Right. And it's really humans. hard. It's really hard when you think about it in that big scope of yeah. as a human race what is our purpose on this earth right yeah so there's different let's... levels to our yeah. purposes or whatever we think yeah. right and for the sake of this conversation we're gonna scope it way way down to yeah. the individual we're not gonna go level. about the universe and why we are here as humans. we could okay. at some other oh, point yeah but... not today not, not today. today not today oh that would be cool if we do like an episode where we like look at different theories yeah and like what people have found as to why we are here as humans yeah and, and then talk about each like, theory yeah okay we should do that but not today okay all right cool new idea just came up awesome mm-hmm. so okay going back to that to the idea of to this notion of purpose Um, I think it's also really hard for us to answer it individually because um, there's a lot of pressure first to find it. And I think it's a a lot of times people are tying it to your career Mm -hmm. or like there's just a lot of pressure to know what you want to do or be in life right away. And that's why I think it's also really hard for us to answer it because we're still figuring ourselves out. Yeah. At least I still am. And I'm almost 30. Yeah. Same. So I'm like, why is it so hard for me to answer this damn question? 
And I think that's I, I the the more that I get older, yeah, and you know, almost hitting thirty, um, the more that I'm realizing that like we don't have to pick one thing. Yes, you know exactly. what I mean. Like we're we are layered in our interests. We are mm-hmm. layered in our hobbies. We are mm-hmm. layered in what we like in our passions and mm-hmm. our, you know what I, well, you know what I mean? And we're yep. so much more than just our careers. So that's why that's, I think one of the reasons why it's so hard to be like, what is your purpose? Because right. it's so hard to just be like, say one thing, because I personally don't think that that is an adequate way of answering that question. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. We had a previous episode not too long ago about mm-hmm. talking about our whys. Yeah. And we yeah. talked about it in the lens of a career. Like, yeah. why did you mm-hmm. choose to do to um, study law? Why did you go to law mm-hmm. school? Why are you doing this yeah. type of law? All this kind of stuff. Yeah. 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 What's your yeah. purpose with that? But then I was like, okay, let's go beyond that. Beyond even just career wise. Mm-hmm. I think, ver- I think um, rather than asking yourself, what do you want to do? Ask yourself, who do you want to be? Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. And, and everything that you're doing with your career, with your hobbies, with who you surround yourself with, is that in alignment with you? With mm-hmm. your values, with your morals, with how you see the world, with I don't know, you know, like you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean. So deep questions, but I know what you mean. Yeah. And so <laughs> I yeah. So I think like it's important to take the time to get to know yourself. Like yeah. maybe like as a practical way to do it, like just make a list of things that you like to do or 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 look at what how you spend your time and see if you can mm-hmm. spot like a pattern, right? Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Does that make sense? I think that makes sense, but I okay. feel like it's hard. It's easier said than done to yes. be like, oh, you need to find yourself. You need to know who you are because I think for us, it's easy because we have been able to do different things that we like because right. we have the ability to do it. But I feel right. like some people don't. Some right. people actually just really need to work in order to right. pay to live. Right. So I know for some people, it's really hard and maybe they haven't gotten that opportunity yet. But Mm -hmm. I think what you're saying is that if you haven't had the opportunity, uh, maybe Mm -hmm. try to set some time aside to just try different things, do different things. I don't know. You know, I think that's at least for me, the way that I've learned about myself is like maybe getting uh, out of my comfort zone, maybe hanging out with certain people or like doing certain things. It doesn't always require money. Mm -hmm. Um, it can just require you trying it and you know what I mean? And figuring it out, figuring it out in on that end of it, but I think it's much more than that too. It's much more than just doing things. It's also like reflecting within yourself and your life. And just like you said, what are your morals? What are your values? What do you care about in life? And it doesn't necessarily have to be materialistic things. Right. So uh, you're right. I don't think it's about what you do necessarily or who Mm -hmm. you even hang out with necessarily. It's more of like, where are you finding meaning in those experiences? Right. Even if you have to work maybe a job that is not something that you want to do, but you just kind Mm -hmm. of have to do because it's paying the bills right now. Um, Mm -hmm. Is there some type of meaning you can find in that? Is there some type of lesson we can find in that? Is there, you know, like it's hard. It's really hard. Mm -hmm. Um, but I think there's, I think the important thing is to just to try to find meaning something in that everything in, well, that's a very daunting task. So I don't know yeah. about everything, but yeah, with what you can, because mm-hmm. I mean, everything you experience, I think we can take something from it, maybe possibly. Mm-hmm. And will it lead you to the next thing? Will it deter you and put you on a different path? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, I can't even fathom it, like process it and like put it into words. But I think there's, I think it's about like your values. What your are you in alignment with is all, is what you're doing and experiencing in alignment with you? Are you finding Mm -hmm. meaning? Um, You mean by meaning fulfillment? uh, Because like meaning, like could just be like, like an understanding of something. And under like uh, an understanding and also like uh, like taking 
taking that and in and applying it in some way to your life like you're learning something yeah. from it yeah or you're doing something that it's going to help you grow you're taking something from it that's going to help you grow and continue on your yeah. path I don't know it, I, yeah we just went on a whole other no I'm just conversation. thinking about a, no yeah when I when you're saying find meaning in something yeah I just revert like sometimes I just Okay. So I used to work at a job that I just really didn't like. And mm-hmm. I, although I learned lessons at that job, mm-hmm. I really, I guess what, like, I was just like, what would be the meaning of that? Like, what would I like, just cause I don't like the job or maybe that's not the, the type of job that I would want to be in. And I, cause I feel like when I've talked to a lot of people, especially our age, maybe they yeah. don't really like where they're working or maybe they don't right see themselves as working so right. then like how would you find meaning in that could you could you maybe take the lesson of I know this is not what I want to do what can I do to pursue something else yeah right would that be something you could take from it is that something you took from it at all or or uh, did, yeah yeah I was like no <laughs> I, I, I feel like that's pretty clear that I just yeah it's clear that when you're at a, in a place that you don't like, right. that's what you would take from it. So then how, I guess I'm just being very specific in this situation because when you mentioned that, I was like, yeah, but then it well, still doesn't like, yeah, I make that reflection and that like, that's the meaning that I get, but like now it's like, okay, find something new, but that still doesn't make, I don't know. I don't know. You know what I mean? It's just no, life. yeah. It's like but, a, I mean, a yeah. thing in life that, some people experience, but I don't know. So I don't know what I'm saying. I, I used to work. I used to work when I was back in Madison. I used to I work. Like we're talking back about work. I know. Right. It, I think that's just like the easiest way to conceptualize yeah, yeah. it. I know okay, Most, okay. more tangible way, but I will, we can yeah. go into other things too. Um, but no, I ahead. used to work yeah. as a, um, therapist of, uh, in Madison for young kids with autism. And we used a certain approach that was a little bit more hands-on and structured. Um, and I enjoyed what I did. It was nice. Mm-hmm. It was, it paid the bills too. You know, it was, it was a job and I was fortunate to have a job. Um, and then I realized I don't know where to go from here. And I think I want something either more or different. Yeah. Um, but from that job, even though it wasn't the job for me, I took a lot from it because I learned what it was like to work with parents who have kids with autism. What is their, what do their experiences look like? How do I communicate with parents in a very respectful, meaningful, sensitive way while also giving them, uh, providing them some guidance around things Mm -hmm. that they could do with their kids or whatever. Um, so and then I, and then after that, I worked as a nanny before I moved to Chicago, um, yeah. while in the process of applying to grad school, uh, I was working as a nanny also wasn't going to be my career for life, mm-hmm. but I learned a lot about the, again, similar to the, the previous job, how hard parenting is and how hard it is to, uh, you know, have to work a full-time job and care for two kids and do all these things and, uh, yeah. you know, you have to do all, you know, there's, there's a lot that goes into raising a family. Yeah. Um, and so I got to see that firsthand cause I was in the home a lot and I was helping with the kids a lot. And mm-hmm. so I took that as like, okay, now I have more insight into what that is like for families. So I can yeah. be more sensitive about things that I, that I encourage parents to do because I have to be mindful that it's not easy. It's not easy. And I'm not a parent, mm-hmm. so I will never fully, fully understand unless I become a parent. But okay. at least I can have some some insight because I was in it a little bit more. Okay. Does that make sense? So with each of these jobs, although they weren't like fulfilling necessarily and they weren't like, oh my gosh, this is what I do, what I want to do for the rest of my life. Are there any jobs like that? <laughs> Who knows? Maybe some people yeah. are completely happy and yeah. good good for you, right? If you are. Mm-hmm. Um, but maybe a lot of people are not either. So mm-hmm. kind of depends. I guess my point is like, I took something from each of them, even though I knew that wasn't what I wanted to do. Yeah. So I tried to find some sort of meaning in it. Does that make yeah. sense? That makes sense. And I think that's a good way to look at it. I just feel like with certain jobs, right. I wasn't as meaning. I wasn't like as 
like oh this is a good lesson for me it was just like this is a shitty job well (laughs) and I'm glad I'm not in this job anymore and next you know and I think a lot of the reason why I brought it up is because I think a lot of people are more in like this is a job that I need to pay the bills Mm -hmm. um and so that's why that's why I brought it up yeah Um, but yeah I and to your point I think that no job is worth um any any type of deteriorate like deteriorating of like your mental health or yes absolutely affecting just your way of being like I know we need jobs and to pay the Mm -hmm. bills but um try to you know um it's hard to say but Mm -hmm. what I you know you get what I'm saying right Mm -hmm. like no Mm -hmm. job is worth like your mental health and Mm -hmm. like your overall well-being yeah no I agree um that yeah I think I I don't even know how to like explain this because (laughs) it's so hard. Okay. Um, So uh, outside of our jobs. Okay. We talked about like Mm -hmm. finding meaning, whatever that may be, that is the more tangible way in terms of your job. Like that's really easy to see like what you like, what you don't like, and maybe changing it from there. So now personally you, um, did we talk about like how to find your purpose personally, like reflecting, I think we said reflecting and finding meaning in either like your relationships and, Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I I think about like, what do you like to do? What do you like to do with your time? What Mm -hmm. do you take value? What do you value and use and engage in it with your time? And then, you know, what do you take from that? So I really like, for example, this podcast, we don't get paid for this. Um, this is, this is, a, a like a hobby, but also like, we're pretty invested in it because you really like to do this. Yeah. This is something I would say is probably an interest or even a passion because I yeah. think, I mean, at least for both of us, we show up, you know, for this podcast and we're always like, okay, what are we going to talk about next? And let's plan this mm-hmm. out. And we take the time to edit and make thumbnails and like all these things. Yeah. Um, because we truly enjoy it. Yeah. And, and we, I wouldn't say we're like experts, but we're also not that bad at this. Cause we, I mean, yeah. it's essentially, we're just talking about real life things yep. and putting it out into the world in hopes that it will help resonate. or guide or resonate or, you know, with mm-hmm. other people. And I think yep. that's, that's purpose right there where you, you're using, you're doing something that you love and you're pretty good at, mm-hmm. and you're using it just to, as a, for the betterment of like others to help yeah. others. I agree. I agree. I agree too. The <laughs> other thing though, when you just said something where you said you where you're good at, uh-huh. it reminded me of uh, Jonathan Van Ness. Yep. You know, Jonathan Van Ness. Yep. Okay. He was saying how like, you don't have to be good at it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Even though, mm-hmm. you know, we're good at this. Mm-hmm. Um, well, you know, from what we think, mm-hmm. um, maybe others don't agree with that but whatever right he was just saying how like he has been trying different things that he's always wanted to pursue like one of the things were like gymnastics or like Mm -hmm. ice skating and he's Mm -hmm. like I love this I've always wanted to do this I know I'm not good but that doesn't matter okay I loved when he said that that's valid because I think that like even though you maybe you've always wanted to try something like I've always wanted to try to play violin Mm -hmm. and like maybe I would suck at it but like that would just be something that I would want to try because I've always felt like inclined to like do it you know what I mean and I think that I mean that's all I'm saying well so then what would stop you okay so well let me ask you a question then I'll I'll add on to that too because there's a there's a reason why I said like Mm -hmm. something that you're good at if you Mm -hmm. were to try the violin and you realized it was really hard and you couldn't do it you weren't good at it would you still Mm -hmm. keep going or would you just kind of like find something else um if I really liked it I think I would keep doing it okay with the like with the guitar for example I like the guitar I don't think I'm good at playing the guitar but Mm -hmm. I've always kind of played it here and there Mm -hmm. throughout my entire life Mm -hmm. right Mm -hmm. but even though I know I'm not good and by like not good I mean because I've compared myself to other people who are good yes I don't care that I'm not to their level I'm still gonna practice and play okay even though technically I'm not good and I'm not good that's not me just like being hard on myself like I know I'm not good and that's why I practice to get better right so 
when I say you're good at something and I'm not talking about like natural talent, which can also happen, right? There's people that are just naturally talented at mm -hmm. things. And maybe that's just from, from the get go. That's what they're doing. Right. There are people mm -hmm. that are in sports since like age three or four, and they're just so yeah. good at it. And it's just like their thing. Mm -hmm. And there's another thing, but are um, they naturally good at it? I feel like right. if you're in a sport so, at three, you kind of got the resources well, to be good at it, you know, well, yeah. yeah. Or if you have an yeah. instrument or whatever, but yeah. like what I, what I mean is like some people do have more of an inclination towards other things than others. Mm -hmm. And then there's another thing to take the time to, to improve at a skill, to do something that you like and keep doing it because you like it. And you end up over time getting better at it, you know? Yeah. With the Let's guitar. Get better. Right. Let's and you, better. and you already, I've heard you play the guitar. You're not bad. I think you're, you're right. You're saying that you're comparing yourself to yeah. professionals, to mu mu like professional musicians who do this for a living. Yeah. Right. Um, or to people who actually spend like hours and hours a day practicing. Right. Yeah. And you have other things mm -hmm. to do. You have a job, you have a dog, you have other responsibilities yeah. Um, yeah. that kind of limit your time a little bit. Yeah. with that oh you're so nice but you make me feel but, good well, <laughs> about my skills well I because you're not bad at it you're really not so oh, I think the thing the what I mean by you're good at it is like you enjoy it so you're gonna put the time into like trying that skill mm -hmm. with and and that's all it really takes to get better at something and Yep. And, and, and whatever you define as good at something yeah, I don't think true. I'm an expert at the drums I, not like, not even good. in the slightest not, yeah I don't know I, I don't know mm. what expert means but I right. think you are really good you well, are really thank good. you thank you yeah I didn't even know how to hold a stick correctly when I first started so mm -hmm. uh yeah. that's kind of how it goes but it's something that I really liked and then I've realized that oh my gosh I'm getting better at this I want to keep going I found this like momentum yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So then, so then that became either like a really good, really deep interest or a passion, however mm -hmm. you want to define it. It's something that I really, really enjoy doing and I'm getting better at. So I guess that's what yeah. I meant by like good at, but I don't mean like you have to be this like expert or like high level, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know? No, yeah, yeah. Um, no, I just wanted to make the point that like, yeah. you don't have to be good, whatever right. that you means. really don't. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just think like, if you're not, if you're not improving in something, I, I wonder how often you'd want to keep trying like you, it like if you actually I feel like the the amount of effort you put in right and it has a you can kind of tell whether you're really into it or not. yes yeah but, exactly but sometimes I know I understand that like not being good because mm -hmm. maybe you're comparing yourself to other people can kind of stop you from trying to and my point was like don't yeah. let that from stop don't let that stop I'm stopping you, you. yeah that's yeah. what happened to me with the guitar I used to have mm -hmm. a guitar and I tried it and I struggled with it for like two, three weeks. It's and hard. Then, and then I was like, no, maybe this isn't the good, this isn't, this isn't the instrument for me. I need to pick a different instrument or something. Cause I wanted mm. to expand from the piano. Yeah. I wanted to try something different and mm. the guitar was really hard, but I mean, you're right. Like I can still keep going. Like it's not, not the end of the world. Yeah. And yeah, I can yeah. eventually get pretty good at it. If I keep, yeah. if I put in the time and effort, mm -hmm. um, but that was kind of my point. So you, uh, I guess maybe we can clarify it. Like do something that you love to do regardless of skill mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and using that either just to like help yourself grow or whatever you want to do with it. Yeah. You know, yeah. maybe that's, maybe that's the purpose is. Yeah. So is purpose then connected to your like happiness, your success? Hmm. Is it connected? Uh, is I feel it like it? I feel like as humans we tie it to it. Mm -hmm. As a society, we tie purpose yeah. to those. Like, mm -hmm. uh, like unfortunately, but I don't necessarily think it should. I don't think right. that like your purpose or what you do necessarily ties into success or happiness. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, I think it ties to happiness because mm -hmm. it, you know you're doing it because it makes you happy, or it or it invoke some sort of emotion in you like maybe fulfillment or yeah. inspiration or something at least that's what I view purpose as something that like keeps me going or like keeps yes. me doing what I'm doing even though mm -hmm. like okay so the guitar isn't my purpose but it really is something I enjoy <laughs> doing yeah but I you know that's what keeps me in like I keep like music in general inspires yeah. me and mm -hmm. moves me and that's why I get in like that's why I started playing piano that's why I'm starting to play like guitar like mm -hmm. because 
music has been so influential into my life that it inspires me to keep going. Mm -hmm. Um, But I wouldn't necessarily say that that is like a purpose of mine, you know, or maybe it is, or maybe I'm just like, it's hard to define it in that way specifically, but music it like is a big part of my life. Yeah. I think it can be tied to your purpose. I think it can influence your purpose, maybe whatever purpose you define for yourself. Yeah. Um, okay. I got a clarity now. Okay. (laughs) Clarity. Yay. I think just, just tying it back to everything that we were referring to, I think our purpose, we have different purposes. And I think I said this in the last previous episode, when we Mm -hmm. talked about our whys, Mm -hmm. we have different purposes for different areas of our life. You know what I mean? At least that's how I view it for me. So like when it comes to like my personal life, like what is like my purpose when it comes to my career, Mm. there's a purpose when it comes to like my relationships with like my family, there's a purpose or relationship with like my partner there's a purpose, you know what I mean? And Mm -hmm. I think that for me, there's no one thing like, this is my purpose because I feel like I have so many. And yeah. that's why all of these things of what I'm putting my time and effort into, yeah, that's where I purposely try to align myself with that. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Especially with my career. Like if you listen to the last, I'm not going to talk about it, but if you listen to the last episode, I feel like it's pretty clear. Like what my purpose is, is like, it stems from helping people and, mm-hmm. you know, wanting to, um, just provide some support for people individually in that way versus like, you know what I mean? And I feel like we all have, I'm like looking at my life in like a pie chart Mm -hmm. and yeah, yeah, there's no one thing that I can say, this is, this is me because everything is me. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. It's all you. And like, yeah, like you said, like it's, you're aligned with each one of them. So I try to be (laughs) right. Right. And it's maybe it again, like it's a lifelong process you yeah. know, for example, you work in immigration law, but that's mm-hmm. not your purpose. Your purpose is yeah. to help others. Help people. Yeah. Help others. Yeah. Right. Right. So you're using your job to fulfill your purpose yeah, and you're, exactly. you're engaging in these really meaningful relationships as mm-hmm. a means of, again, fulfilling your purpose. Um, mm-hmm. I think we're naturally very social beings and we need that feeling of connection and community and so we find that in different, in different areas of our lives, whether it's with romantic partners or friendships or family, yeah. family relationships, all of that can be tied mm-hmm. to it. And to go back to like the happiness thing, I think it is tied to happiness because mm-hmm. if you weren't happy with these things, you probably wouldn't do them. Mm-hmm. You probably would, mm-hmm. would try to pick something different. Um, yeah. Depending right on, on resources and opportunities and all that kind mm-hmm. of stuff. Um. I don't think maybe we can strive to seek to identify our purpose and discover it, but maybe we shouldn't be like driven only to finding happiness because mm. it's, it's not realistic. It's a constant chase. Yeah. It's and a it's constant not realistic chase. to always be happy. Yes. You know what I mean? Like, yes. I think even though, like, I don't know, even though like I, I don't know how to explain it without like talking about my job, but Mm-hmm. Um, we, it's a constant state. Like you said, it changes. You're not always going to be happy. It's not yes. really possible right. as humans to just constantly be happy. If you are, the, I don't know what that means, but <laughs> <laughs> I just personally don't think that that's like, I don't know about you. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I can't be happy all, every single time, hundred no. percent when I'm awake. Yeah. And like we, okay. So think about all the, we had an emotions episode. We literally talked mm-hmm. about emotions and we talked about, there's a whole wide range of emotions. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think they're there for a reason. I don't think we're meant to be happy all the time. And, and yeah, what, what I guess is the more common definition of happiness is like, you know, you're, you're in a state of joy, you're excited, you're smiling, you know, like yeah. you're joyful and cheerful. Right. Yeah. And like, joyful we, and cheerful we, we're not like Santa that all the time. oh my gosh we're here Sorry. to bring all the joy to the kids <laughs> and the every families. time I hear joyful and that just joyful specifically I think it's joyful Claus. Sorry, mm-hmm. you can't be like Santa Claus all the time mm-hmm. it's just not it's not realistic and I don't think it's actually healthy like I think we're meant to feel all mm-hmm. these feelings like there's a reason why mm-hmm. that that part in our brain is is tied to emotion, a range of emotions. We feel sadness, we feel anger, we feel uh, guilt, shame. I don't know, all these different things, nervousness. Yeah, uh, I think it's for a reason, maybe, you know? Um, yeah. 
But I agree with you that, you know, these like purposes or like the things that you're doing should bring you joy, which is different than like happiness, like a state of being. Yeah. And like, so, uh, okay. So back to like the job thing, I, the job that I do, I'm not always happy because this is a really hard job to do. You're having hard hard conversations with parents who Mm -hmm. have a a lot of feelings that you kind of have to hold space for. And these are kids that are delayed in their development or have some sort of diagnosis or they have, you know, something going on. That's the reason why they're in this program. That's why I'm there in their house. I don't think Mm -hmm. they would want, I think if you really, really like peel back those layers, they don't want me there because that means that there's something going on with their child. The reason I'm there yeah. is because they need help with their child. So this isn't an easy job, but yeah. it's, it's, it's still, I think, fulfilling my purpose of also, I guess, if you want to very generally state it, helping people in some yeah, way, in some capacity, so, yeah. in some capacity. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're doing that and I'm doing that, but in different ways, yeah. but, but yeah. I'm not always happy in this job. In fact, it's a really yeah. hard job. <laughs> Yeah, I um, I definitely resonate with that. Yeah, there's happy <laughs> moments, but you're not always happy, and you're yeah. If you're always seeking that, I think, like I had said, mentioned, it's a constant chase. You're gonna like find that moment of happiness, and then it's gonna go away, and you're just gonna like, have to keep keep chasing it. You yeah, know? I feel like the whole like idea of chasing happiness happiness yeah. makes you sound not you, but like in general, mm-hmm. me, whoever says that makes you sound like you're unfulfilled or like Mm. empty like something's just not enough yeah and it's not and it's never going to be enough Mm -hmm. if Mm -hmm. you're like if I get to this if I do this Mm -hmm. or like even like like just because you get to it yeah like you said it may be temporary whatever joy happiness whatever you feel but then eventually you're gonna be like okay what else and you're gonna keep Mm -hmm. doing that and never be content or happy Mm -hmm. or fulfilled with what you've done so far yeah that's a really, that's a really important point. It's like, if you chase like money, like once yeah. I get, once I make this amount of money and once I have this house, I'm going to be happy and set. And then what you get your house and that's it. You got to pay that mortgage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You got to pay the mortgage. You got to mow the lawn. Yeah. Yeah. So you gotta, yeah, that's, a, yeah. that's kind of, you got to be realistic about it. Yeah. So, okay. So we talked about, well, tried to talk about like purpose mm-hmm. and, and define it and mm-hmm. how do we look at it in different ways? Why do you feel like it's important to even have this conversation or like live a purposeful life? Why is this important? Mm. Why is it important? Uh, Why are we having this life? episode in the, in the well, first place? Well, I think place? that's what keeps us going. I think yeah. that I kind of mentioned that before. I think that whatever joy, whatever joys that you have in your life or, you know, whatever you, yeah, I just feel like that's what keeps you going mm-hmm. and are maybe doing certain things or going to certain places or just being more you. I feel like the more <laughs> that you know yourself, the more you can live as yourself without being feeling constrained or limited and I feel like you know what I mean because I feel Mm -hmm. like now as I'm older and I know myself I can be more me like unapologetically and I think that that brings me fulfillment and that brings me joy and that brings me to a certain extent stability and like you said we're not always in a constant constant state of happiness but like living a purposeful life makes me want to create more purpose Mm -hmm. and like more experiences and sharing that with other people. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. What about you? No, I agree with all of that. I think when you, like you said, you are living authentically as yourself. Mm -hmm. I think you're going to attract things that are in alignment with that. You're going to find people, you're going to like build relationships with relationships with people who embrace you as Mm -hmm. for you, right? Mm -hmm. You're going to, you're going to be with someone, maybe your partner who celebrates all of you because Mm -hmm. you're you, right? Like, I think Mm -hmm. it makes me think of like when we had Yolanda on the podcast, we talked about law of attraction, like you emanate this sort of energy. And if it's authentic to you, you're going to attract that same energy back, you know? 
and yeah. you, and it's going to help you hopefully find or maybe not find because I feel like when you say find purpose it's like it's lost but more yeah. so like uncover it because it's or come into like, you yeah or go into it yeah I like yeah. that better mm-hmm. you're going to come into your purpose mm-hmm. uh, in in whatever aspect you in, in yeah. life you know like it yeah. whichever however you want to see it or, or experience it yeah um, and I feel like it comes naturally yeah you know what I mean like us like we, we spoke about this generally, like helping people Mm -hmm. in a certain capacity is Mm -hmm. general, but Mm -hmm. something that we, I think we both came into naturally knowing that that's what we, at least for our like career little section, Mm -hmm. like that is something, or in general, like outside of that section too, you know what I mean? Just being there for people and caring for people. And I think that, um, we kind of, I don't know, I don't want to sound like a narcissist or anything, but I feel like we both came into that naturally. Like that's just how we are, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And that was my point about not, I guess not necessarily saying that you're finding your purpose again, because it's implying that it's maybe lost and you have to do all these things to, to figure out where it is and how to find it. But it's more so like discovering it within yourself. Like, I feel like it's already with us yeah you know? but yeah that's what I meant yeah yeah and mm-hmm. and I don't mean just you and me but like ev- like all of everybody, us in general, everybody yeah it's within us and then we use we you know we take our experiences and we try these up op- these different opportunities and we try different things to uncover it to like you said go into it of something that's yeah. already been with us since forever yeah. and it feels like this natural thing it feels right but yeah yeah for sure that's what yeah, th- this should have been our conversation in the beginning because we were yeah. like, I don't know. <laughs> you do things, you, you do build relationships, yeah. you have these experiences. But you like, know what? That's that, how yeah. that's how a lot of I feel like that's how a lot of us uh go into these conversations. Is mm-hmm. like first we don't even know. And then as yeah. we talk and reflect, we start to come to like this clarity of yeah. oh yeah, that makes sense. Now I'm connecting yeah. the dots. Yeah. So it's within you. It is within yeah. you. Mm-hmm. Um whatever it is that you want to do, whatever it is that you have yeah. to go through. Yeah. It, it's all within you. Mm-hmm. It's just uncovering it and coming into it and going through life Yeah, and going through its highs and lows, because there's always going to be highs and lows. Mm-hmm. And you can mm-hmm. fulfill, you know, a purpose. Let's say for us, we talked about helping people in different ways. Like I feel like mm-hmm. even doing this podcast might be helping someone out, even just one person. Mm-hmm. even if it's just us <laughs> sometimes, yeah, you know, for real, uh, and we didn't moms. do this and our moms, <laughs> right. And our families, were, you know, and whoever. Our families and our friends. Yeah. Shout but out to y'all. When we talked about creating this podcast, we talked about why do we want to do this podcast? What would be like mm-hmm. the aim of this, the goal of this? And it was to build community to, yeah. again, like I mentioned earlier, talk about things that our people can relate to, you know, because mm-hmm. like we all have these, we're all human. We all have struggles and things that we go through and and things to celebrate so I think part of us fulfilling our purpose Michelle and I don't mean to speak for you um Mm -hmm. but I feel like it might be also this doing something like this even though it's not tied to our careers yeah and we're just doing it for fun and Mm -hmm. not doing it for how many people are listening or viewing right right now because it's something that we we want to do we enjoy doing and we do want to build a community and talk about these things and Mm -hmm you know, share experiences, Mm -hmm. not just ours, but people that we have coming in. Right. Um, And I really do value that too. So to kind of Mm -hmm. come to a close for this episode, what advice would you give to somebody who is looking to start living their purposeful life or get in or discover or go into their purpose? Go into their purpose. How do you go into the purpose? Wow. I don't know. (laughs) I feel like it's different for people. Like I said, I feel like it's within you already. So I think you kind of mentioned this already. It's just like, um, definitely reflect. Yes. Um, I agree. Especially if you're like our, our age and you've like lived a few years, a few years, um, just a few reflect, like reflect on your life. What have you done? Um, what are some things that like, uh, brought you joy? What are some things that you really didn't like? What are some things that you've been more inclined to doing? Like, Mm -hmm. okay. Like what kind of 
uh, people have you been hanging at, around with? Or like, what are you like, what are your activities by yourself? Mm-hmm. Like, how do you like spending your time alone to yes. like, just look like, you know, how I was saying like, there's like this pie yeah, as like how I see my life and my purpose. Okay. Like create a pie mm-hmm. for yourself. Mm-hmm. I'm doing it virtual, like virtually. I'm doing it in my head. Yeah. Uh, and I like see how like I've divided my life into pies. So maybe you can try to do that. Mm-hmm. Like this is just advice and see where all of the, your life and what you've done falls into those things. And if you think things are missing in that pie mm-hmm. that you created for yourself, do try to do more things within those pies that you think will bring you joy. Will maybe just want to try. Yeah. You, you know, you never know what will come out from you really reflecting mm-hmm. and also just try to be honest with yourself. I feel like many times when we look at like our purpose and like um, certain things, we choose things that we think other people want from us. Mm. And I think that's where you should be a little weary because mm-hmm. at least for us growing up, um, we, you know, we come from immigrant parents, yeah. Um, you know, being t- like not really like being advised on like what to do where you should go in life and all these mm-hmm. things and yes sometimes parents really do know well but at the same time you know yourself best mm-hmm. so um listening to yourself and what you actually truly want um and reflecting on that versus just listening to what other people want from you because right what other people want from you may not necessarily be what is best for you so just have that in mind too um And yeah, I mean, I personally still feel like, you know, I talked about like my job and like this pie that I have, but I feel (laughs) like I'm still like, I'm still working into what I enjoy and my purposes, I guess, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I feel like it's always changing for me. um, And I think that's what is great about it. It's like the more that I live life, the more that I can add things or not add things and like try something new, try, you know what I mean? And Mm -hmm. I think that's part of it. Yeah. I like the analogy. I like the pie. No, this is great. (laughs) I mean, I've kind of had the same thing. Like, I, I, you know, I would say like tune out whatever noise you hear from the external world, like whoever's telling you to do this and try this and do that, tune it out. You know, mm-hmm. not to say that others are not important. Like, of course, there's people in your mm-hmm. life that are very important and everything. But again, like your opinion about yourself is the most important opinion. Like your yeah. voice in your head is the most important voice. Yeah. So at the end of the day, are you happy with right. yourself and your choices and your actions and who exactly. you are? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So like, you know how like, when you go on a first date with somebody, you ask them like, well, what do you like to do? What do you like to do? Um, mm. What do you do for fun? Um, yeah. What do you like to watch? Or what do you like to listen to? Ask yourself those questions, you know, yeah. I guess, uh, I don't know, in a sense, date yourself, um, mm-hmm. get to know yourself. At how, like you said, how do you spend your time? Um, you know, what do I like to do? What do I not like to do? Um mm-hmm who do I want to be? What kind of person do I want to be? Um, Mm -hmm. explore, be flexible. Um, Mm -hmm. and your purpose can change maybe in different elements of your life. It's fine. It doesn't have Mm -hmm. to be a fixed thing. Um, and it's okay. As long as you're happy and you're in alignment with yourself. I mean, the rest is like irrelevant, I guess. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I kind of just restated what you just said. Cause you, what you said was really good. So, oh, thanks. So it, what is your purpose? Yeah. You never mentioned anything regarding to your purpose. Cynthia. We talked about helping people. <laughs> okay. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I actually, let me look, I actually made a little bit of a list about wow, my, you really did. <laughs> I want to hear this. <laughs> okay. I made a list of my interests slash passions. And within that, I think I can find purpose. So Mm -hmm. one of them was working with young children and their families. So that's Mm -hmm. an interest. And the purpose is to help them meet their goals that they have for their kids and help these, help these children continue to grow and develop so they can fulfill whatever they, whatever potential they have and whatever their purpose is, you know, as they grow Mm -hmm. into adults and stuff. Another interest of mine is playing music. Mm -hmm. I really, really like music. 
Uh, my purpose with that, I don't know, maybe it's just to fulfill myself in a sense so that yeah. I can, you know, like fill my own emotional cup so that I yeah. can go and be present for others. Like it's something yeah. that helps me ground myself and it's like my self-care and it's a way for me to take care of myself so that yeah. I can show up for others. So maybe yeah. that's kind of what the purpose is there. Yeah. This podcast was another one on the list. Mm hmm. We like to talk. I like, I enjoy talking to you. We've talked about this so many yeah. times. We do, we do these, we talk about these things a lot. It's just a matter of recording it and hoping that it resonates with someone else and we can yep. share stories with one another. Yep. So yep. connecting and resonating. That's the purpose, I guess, for the podcast. Yep. Um, the other one I had was developing and sustaining genuine and meaningful relationships. And that could be friendships, like what we have, um, partnership, mm -hmm. like a romantic partner or uh, family yeah all that kind of stuff yeah and that really also fills my cup so yeah that's yeah so maybe try that either make your pie or make a list of just what do you what do you enjoy what do you like yeah. what are your interests mm -hmm. um you can even make a list of what you don't like what do you not like to do what do you want to yeah. avoid yeah um what i don't have a list of that too yeah there you go yeah yeah mm -hmm. um get a sense of like what energy do you like mm-hmm I don't know. Something like that might be helpful. I agree. Yeah. Did I answer your question, Mish, about my purpose? You did. Yeah, you did. <laughs> I was like, you're not going to answer. Yeah. I think I talk very abstractly and it's, it's no, yeah. hard I, to it's okay. pinpoint it. Mm -hmm. So, wow. Yeah. I need to take a drink of water for that. Hold on. <laughs> um, deep breaths. That was a lot. How do you feel? Mish. Oh, are you drinking iced coffee? Yeah. Oh, yum. I got all watery, but it's fine. Yeah. What, what were you saying? I said, how do you feel about what we talked about? How are you <sighs> feeling? Good. Um, I feel like this may change later in the future. <laughs> once we yeah. get older, maybe. Yeah. Um, but I definitely do think that um, purpose comes in different forms mm -hmm. and um, I like that. I like that way mm -hmm. better than like having to feel like, what is your purpose? And like, right. you have the big one thing. And right. I always felt like, like that when I was younger. So now that I'm older and I'm mm -hmm. starting to realize that no, there's purpose in, in every aspect of our lives. And I think that that's a valid, a more valid way to look at it. Mm -hmm. Um, and that doesn't, and I feel like if you having to pick one thing, limits us I feel like it limits me as a person and mm. I hate being like hate feeling like I'm limited because mm -hmm. I feel like yeah there's um there's purpose in our lives but there's it's in different aspects of it and mm -hmm. it, it can change and it, it can look different for different people mm -hmm. and I think that that is the most important thing and I think it's important to validate other people's what they think their purpose is and, you know, may maybe sometimes we don't agree or don't understand, but that doesn't mean that their purposes are any less than ours, you know? Yeah, that's great. Mm -hmm. Do you ever ask people actually, like, what's your, what's your purpose? I feel like we don't generally, like, ask that, but we, no. in a way we do. <laughs> like, what do you want to yeah. do with your life? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've definitely had conversations of, like, what, what do you want to do? Like, right. And especially with a lot of my law school friends like mm -hmm. out, we because we were so focused on on our careers in law school but like we were like okay like we're people outside of our fields like exactly. what do we do as people like what do we like to do mm -hmm. and having people validate not just um like the career you're in but also like outside of that also mm -hmm. is very meaningful too yeah. is having people who support you genuinely mm -hmm. Um, and I think I agree with you with when what you said, the energy that you put out is kind of like the energy that you attract. Right. Right. So mm -hmm. how do That's you feel a, about the conversation? I feel like I have found some more clarity. Mm -hmm. I think in the beginning I felt lost, mm -hmm. but I think also, that's also maybe part of it. Like, yeah it's, it can be a lot to figure out and process when there's a lot of things going on in your life. Yeah. And there's a lot of different little pie slices to think yeah. about and reflect on. But I think the general sense is what you said is like, it looks different for people, for different people, and it doesn't mm -hmm. have to be just one thing. And it also can change. 
Yeah. So there, there's room for change and flexibility and growth. And I think mm-hmm. that's the exciting part of it. I don't think I'm like eager to figure out exactly, exactly what my purposes are, yeah. even though yeah. I listed a few things that I like, but um, I think I'm still going to keep growing. I'm only, I still, I hopefully have a lot more life to live. Yeah, so, same. you know, maybe, yeah, I really hope for both of us and for y'all who are, everybody. Yeah. Um, yeah. So maybe what we can do in like five, 10 years is mm-hmm. talk about this again and see where I'm we're down. at. <laughs> I'm down. I'm down. Okay. So before we, you know, reflect back on this in like maybe 10 years, hopefully yeah. we're still doing the podcast. I hope that we hopefully. are. Hopefully. Um, all right. Be- let's just end it with this one question so we can see what our answers will be in like maybe the next three or five years or 10 okay. years whenever we do this. Okay. How do you want to be seen by others? Oh, oh. okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, I just, Okay. So this is not to say that like other, how the people see me is the most important thing, but yeah, for sure. No. If to answer that question, I would want people to see me as someone who is kind and genuine. That's very general, Mm -hmm. but just like someone who for sure is authentic to them. Like I would want them to see that I'm authentic to myself. Like I am myself. Wow. You You took my answer. (laughs) Did I? (laughs) Yeah, you did. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. So, okay. Um, yeah, I guess for me, I would want people to see me as me, um, mm-hmm. not like the career that I'm doing or like, you know what I mean? Obviously right. those are amazing. Yeah. Recognize me for that, whatever. But I want you to see me. <laughs> I want yeah, you to see me law as school, me. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. I, I want you to see me as me, me being authentically myself, me. Um, mm-hmm. cause I genuinely care about people and I feel mm-hmm. like I want people to know that, you know what I mean? Yeah. That I care about people that I care about, like humanity in general, but mm-hmm. I really do care about people. And, um, yeah, just that I know it's very general, but I feel like my answer was yours, but yeah. Well, it's general, but it's also, I think the most powerful because it really encompasses all that that means. Like being, being authentic to yourself can look different. Like you can be authentic to yourself and that's going to be different than how I'm authentic to myself. And like how you, how you show up for others might be different than how I show up for others, but it's still showing up for other people. And we still care deeply about other human beings. Yeah. So in the general sense, yes, but there's obviously we can get more specific with that. But I think yeah. that's kind of like the overall, that's how we would want people to see us. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Generally ourselves Yeah, that we lived as our genuine selves. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree. If you are comfortable, listeners, community, And I think friends, we are. Shout out. I think we are because we're yeah. doing this fucking podcast yeah. with like... <laughs> like a small amount of viewing I mean we don't have like zero we do have like people Um, who watch us but like we're doing this shit you know what Mm -hmm. I mean and like a lot of people would be kind of scared to do this like understandably so we were too but like the fact that we're doing it Mm -hmm. and putting ourselves out there like I think we are doing it Mm -hmm. and I have to give props to us because it's not easy (laughs) no we I mean we talked about this like when we do this and if we grow a bigger following or have Mm -hmm. you know have more listens and more views that's more and more people that's more and more opinions Mm -hmm. people are going to have things to say whether they kind of like it that it's (laughs) I know right so far it's you know we haven't had any like harsh harsh feedback or anything we've had some nice constructive feedback which is good it's helping us grow and we we encourage it you know like we totally welcome it Um, but we also understand that there's going to be a point possibly you know depending on how this podcast continues to grow. I'm still going to keep mm-hmm. showing up. I think you're still going to mm-hmm. keep showing up for it. Yeah. Um, but the more people that lit, the more we have people listen, the more uh, different opinions we're going to hear and, and yeah. read on the, in the comment section, for example. And yeah, mm-hmm. we just have to keep, we, I think we have to find a way to not let that deter us and not let that keep us from being ourselves. Yeah. Like we sure. still have to stay true to that no matter what. And it can be hard. It's really hard. And so, yeah, I think, yeah, props to us for doing this. I agree for sure. Let us know in the comments though, listeners and community and friends and family, if you're listening, how would you answer that question? How would you want others to see you? Um, And what do you, what are your thoughts about what purpose is, what, what your purpose Mm -hmm. is? 
Yeah. Have you reflected on it? Do you plan to reflect on it? We support you. Is that you. too deep? <laughs> yeah. Too deep? Is this too deep and you want something lighter? Let us know. Yeah. <laughs> we can try to keep the nice one light. <laughs> Yeah. So let us know, DM us, comment in the comment section. Mm -hmm. We'd love to hear your thoughts. So yep. Like, subscribe, follow yep. us on social media, you know, you know, the jizz. Yeah. What rate the us. Jizz me? I don't know. The I don't gist? know what the hell I'm saying. Yeah. I said the jizz. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right. That's, let's wrap it up. That was it. All right, y'all. We're gonna, <laughs> that's a great way to end it. Wonderful. So do all of that and we look forward to hearing from y'all and we'll catch you at the next one thanks bye, bye.